So let's take a more detailed look at how we actually implemented the peer assessment or the flipped assessment. So within the uh, badge system design course on the PDPU, um, we really base the whole course on this idea of a rubric. Um, so the foundation of the course was really all around this idea of using a rubric where there's different performance levels in the sense that uh, you know if you want just an introductory badge system or a working badge system or even into the into the more performance areas of notable or exemplary but the main point here is is that we had a whole bunch of criteria um, of what a badge system should be a, and fairly detailed descriptions uh, of how you would meet or exceed that particular criteria for that particular performance level so um, to make the course and have the course sort of completely founded on this rubric made for peer assessments um, or flipped assessments much more easy to implement because the way people were fulfilling their assignments was based on the rubric but then how other people assessed what people had done within their assignments was in the rubric so the idea for the peer assessment worked out very well so what we did within the uh, PDPU badge system um, course is as you can see here we implemented the flipped assessment idea where where somebody would in a, an earlier task evaluate um, the work of somebody who's later in the course so essentially you've got a, a novice learner assessing the work of a, of a master learner and also a part of the the task within the course is the the master learner also needs to encourage the encourage the novice learner to provide them assessments so they need to reach out so the dialogue that gets created between the, the master and novice learner within the same uh, learning journey and and having them close together in time like the, the the content that they're studying is is top of mind so to speak so it worked quite well that way so the idea being again uh, somebody would do an assignment where they would create a uh, create a, a badge system themselves and then one of the novice learners would go and analyze and and critique their badge system based on the criteria found within the rubric uh, one of the other assignments uh, included sort of a compare and contrast of different cells within the rubric and again because the rubric was displayed um, and available within the course that the novice learners could then evaluate that based on on what they saw there <laughs> When it came to how the, the badges were implemented within the course and how sort of the course criteria um, and the assessment of that criteria was matched to badges, um, the awarding of the badge was given upon completion of the whole course. So really what the consideration was is anybody who has been awarded the badge has the ability to award the badge to somebody else. So the idea being is that uh, from a peer assessment perspective is, is that they would have to go through um, and be a part of a learning cohort and, and assess the work of another peer. So that's sort of how we went through the process of implementing uh, flipped or peer assessment within the badge system design course. Um, we did find that it's, it's so far it's, it's going quite well as an experiment. We are to the point where we're starting to get some good feedback and some good engagement uh, from different people within the course. Um, I found as the creator of the course but also as one of the participants of the course is that the feedback that I'm getting is exemplary. I'm, I'm amazed at the quality and the mindfulness of the people that are involved in, in taking the course um, and the feedback and the, uh, how candid they are in assessing uh, my work um, and relating that to what the rubric says uh, to provide them sort of foundation to provide that assessment has worked very well.